What do you know, guys? We're at a place to eat, like always. Uh, Farmer Boys. Never been here, but I scoped the menu. And uh, I know the videos have been really sporadic, but right now, as far as my food, I'm doing a lot of salads. And I'm doing a lot of protein and fats, kind of uh, in the beginning of the day. And uh, protein, fats, and greens. This place is fast food, but the menu is actually really impressive um, for some healthy food. And then, of course, for cheating junk food, too. And uh, the salad menu is really good. Uh, you can do a Cobb salad with extra hard boiled eggs, extra chicken, it's really good supply. Uh, so we're gonna eat here, waiting on a prescription to be filled for my TRT program. And um, I'm just impressed with this place so far. So it's on Eastern in Las Vegas. And there's like seven locations spread out. So uh, everything's going good so far, as far as my eating plan. And I'm just really enjoying these salads um, just because it's just a way for me to get vegetables in or more greens in uh, without cooking up asparagus and steaming things and stuff like that. There is the menu of tasty treats on the left and the healthy salads that I'm all about right now. On the right, the farmer's chopped salad. Looks super legit. So, you guys can come here Get your cheat meal on or eat healthy. All right, here is the, uh, as you can see, it's a gigantic bowl. I got extra chicken breast, extra eggs, bacon bits on the side. They're usually on the top, but you know me, I'm not going to have bacon, even though I'm having fats and protein only. Avocado. Rachel got the same thing with delicious bacon embedded in there. A little bit. Ranch dressing. Or I have the, uh, fat-free Italian, but I don't really like too much dressing anyway, so I'm just going to use a little sprinkle of that. There you guys have it. Farmer Boys. Very, very large salad. And Rachel's sitting purposely by her favorite would-be cheat meal. She can have it, she says. I can have it if I want it. The Smokehouse Bacon Burger. Well, you can, but you've been... Uh, Going a little nuts on the vacation, so you're gonna turn it back. <laughs> S'mores. Actually, can I bite yours? I would love Dip. to have you eat that in front of me. No. All right. Update on the salad. Very good. Recommendation: Cholula, Azure dressing, minimal calories. Complements the eggs and the chicken deliciously with the spicy hot sauce. So that's my recommendation to keep it without going for ranch and a bunch of garbage dressing. Cholula on the cob, on the cob salad. Reach over there and drilled one ranch, working on her second one. I haven't even started my second one. Ah, is that a fact? I guess you haven't. So. Found a store that would have been perfect for me about a year ago when I actually was a big dog. Now my ass is so small I can't even go in there. I have no right to go in there now. So I'm a little bit pissed that I'm not a big dog and I can't wear these triple XL anymore. So if anyone is a big dog that watches these videos, you know where to go to get your triple XL clothes. Outdoor world. Bass Pro Shop. Bass Pro Shop here to find a high quality food dehydrator to make my beef jerky that I'm spending hundreds of dollars on, which is ridiculous. And we will start making our own jerky. We're gonna to try to find a good dehydrator and then maybe you guys can uh, see if you learn anything from here and then you can not spend hundreds of dollars on jerky like me. All right, inside Bass Pro. Obviously a gigantic Costco size hunting store. We're gonna go over to the meat dehydrator and smokers and all that good stuff section. And then um, get some fishing gear because we're gonna be avid fishers now. <laughs> Maybe I'd like not. To be. Maybe I'd just... like to go to like meat and fish. Well we'll check out and read up what kind of fish they have there. And then that's uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool scenery. Oh, big ass fish. We should bring Smokey here and let him play up here. Uh, he looks like he's gasping for air. He does. He looks like he's just not doing so well. Dang. It's not like 
contains mine. He looks traumatized. Maybe he's like, it's like the fish that we caught and had to rip out the hook out of its mouth. All right, so we come to a hunting place, and of course, they show us the dehydrators. Jeremy, and, the manager. And uh, I want the best dehydrator for jerky and cooking a lot of it. So, so we end up with this massive. We end up with the biggest one they stainless make. Stainless steel dehydrator. Only stainless steel one. All of them are plastic. And then we uh, have our food saver. Then we got some food saver seasonings and then a meat gun because we already have a grinder at home so the meat gun yeah we'll grind our meat so i'll use my meat grinder pulverize it grind it and then it basically shoots out the meat out of the gun and makes it a tenderized beef jerk instead of hurting your jaw and pumping it up so what started off is like i thought it was gonna be a costco or target trip for a wrong code dehydrator something cheap is turning out to be quite costly but you know what if i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do it right and uh, as much as I eat, it's gonna save me a lot more money in the long run. And then that means masters, we will be having beef jerky the entire time. Right, and then and turkey jerky. I, w I you know, I still do meal prep companies, obviously, but this is even faster. I don't have to worry about microwave. I just I'm done. I can do rice cakes and then jerky. Easy to eat on the plane. And then we'll film too for you guys to see. I'll show you how I'm seasoning it and what I decide to do with it. So there you have it. Even got the MPA colors going just by default. And um, like I said, I don't know everything that's in here because he's gonna surprise me. They're vacuum sealed, that's salmon, rosemary, sweet potato wedges. Looks beautiful, little lemon on there. Uh, that's pretty sweet. We got steak meal. Nice, they're frozen. Looks like it's medium rare, there's redness. Cucumber for the asparagus, this is a protein and vegetable meal. Oh, cucumber, you need no lemon. I say cucumber? Yeah. I'm so used to putting cucumbers on my client's diets and it's last week for masters that cucumbers are on my brain. And uh, chicken. Uh, yeah, just sliced up chicken. Not a cucumber, but a lemon. Very small, two ounce portion of sweet potato because I'd rather have lower carbs and add my own than to waste them if I get too many carbs. So we can always add carbs. Uh, what else did he give me? Let's see here. Salmon, already did that. My ass doesn't need any carbs. Shrimp skewer. Ooh, that could be mine. Boom, oh, beautiful. Skewer of shrimp, basmati rice, and of course asparagus in there. So this is awesome, I'm impressed so far. Now we just gotta taste it and report back to you guys. And if all goes well, I will support these, uh, these awesome people that run this company and we will have a coupon code of MPA10 for all followers, clients, people that watch the videos, of course. Oh, the true test. Um, this little guy's gotta test it The true out. test is Smokey, he's checking it out. Hi Smokey. You can sense the salmon. Yeah, and I think that's basically the gist, of, oh, wait a minute. Ooh, he surprised me. Beef, Southwest rice, pico de gallo. That one's definitely fine. This is a Rachel approved meal. Oh my gosh, it looks like that a lot of mine. food. That's like two meals for you, babe. Okay. All right, there's that. Which one's yours, Smokes? Ooh, bison. Hey, baby. It's kind of frosty, but uh, yeah, just bison, ground beef, and uh, asparagus. And he assured me, guys, the uh, ground beef is grass-fed and the bison uh, is also, both of them grass-fed beef and the bison are under 10% fat. So it's anywhere from eight to 9% fat, which isn't that bad. And he assured me if I wanted, I had special requests for leaner meats or different meats. Um, if there's a demand for it for my clientele or people that follow me, we can get different meats um, or different cuts. Bison, bison, and I think, ooh, here's the one I ordered. Chicken sriracha, or sriracha chicken. Ooh, it looks delicious. He is sure there's jalapenos in there. As you can see, there's a chili powder. It's like a medley of the Spanish rice. Black beans, he assured me there's no oils or extra dietary fat. So this is dieting food. 
and yeah, more sriracha chicken. So that's pretty much the gist of it. I'm gonna eat it, Rachel's gonna eat it. We'll report back on the video later, if, you know, our, what we think of the taste and all the quality and all that stuff. And I have really good vibes about this uh, food prep company, guys. Uh, Mega Fit Meals, coupon code will be MPA10. All right, guys, so we got Mega Fit Meals right here. Two meals, we got the shrimp skewer with basmati rice, lemon, asparagus, and then grilled chicken with a little bit of sweet potato and also asparagus. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix half of the rice with, uh, with the sweet potato to even out the carb count. Stuff is amazing, mega fit meals. Uh, tastes like restaurant style meals. Prepared very well, tastes amazing like I said. Uh, coupon code NPA10 for followers and clients. This stuff is some high quality, tasty, healthy food. So we are at the grocery, well, not right now, we're at Subway, but we're at the grocery store across the street getting some top round London broil for our meat dehydrator because we're going to make some jerky for our trip that we're going on to Pittsburgh. So we're getting 10 pounds of beef sliced right now. Uh, they do it for you, obviously, it's a pain in the butt if I do it hand by hand. And Subway, we got hand carved turkey. That's a lot of cheese, man. Mozzarella. I'm low carbing. I only do carbs on the workout. Plus additional lunch meat from Vons to add to it for more protein. And uh, we're just gonna wait here for the meat to be cut, and then go through the process at home of going through the meat dehydrator. We haven't used it yet. We're gonna bust it out and make a bunch of jerky for the road. So we'll see how that goes. We're starting the jerky process, and we're just gonna do everything that the directions say since we've never tried this before. So I think that following the directions is probably the best route to go. So we've laid out our meat, we've laid out our five pounds right now, we have another five in the fridge. Um, and then we just made our cure and seasoning for four pounds. So I'm gonna pat this dry like it says, and then we're gonna start seasoning it. What, what, what flavors do you do for the seasoning? Um, well, we ha we're gonna do four, so oh. I guess one's gonna be left out, so we've got Cracked pepper and garlic, hickory blend, mesquite blend, cool. original, and Cajun. Smoky. What flavor do you want? Oh. There's one in it. Cracked pepper. I don't know you want pepper. All right. So we patent it dry. Yeah. And then we season it and then let it sit for 24 hours? Yes. And notice we aren't using any liquid smoke or Worcestershire or soy sauce. We're doing it dry and basic this time. Hell, I'd even be cool doing it just plain, just chewing on beef with no sodium, but... Well, you need to cure it. We have to cure it. I didn't... No, yeah, I guess you're right. I did cure my homemade stuff with the oven last time with the soy sauce. All right. All right. Rubbing on the... Uh, what is that? Uh, it's the, cure? the cure and the seasoning. Okay, so that cure is two pounds, so half of this stack. And then uh, we'll have to mix some more up for the next batch of two pounds and different flavor. She pat it dry, sucked up as much moisture as possible with the paper towels. It's kind of a pain in the butt, this whole process, but it saves a ton of money compared to the store-bought stuff, which is around six to seven dollars for three ounces so this will probably be yeah, mm. and it's kind of fun to do together yeah so 10 pounds of beef this was only like three bucks a pound 10 bucks was 45 dollars total and uh it'll probably obviously be half of that maybe five pounds of actual dehydrated jerky 
which will be like forty dollars compared to like one hundred and twenty dollars if you I do think, the math. I think it's good to go, so we just need to get plastic bags and put this one away. Okay. This is gonna do a whole half. If it's gonna do a whole half, I don't know. Where should I stop? It's I don't know. Shit, just stop. I would use whatever your instincts tell you to do. Second batch, this is time consuming. And I'm not even doing all the work. Rachel's doing most of it, but man, this takes some time. Hopefully we aren't lazy and don't sit on this expensive machine we bought and actually put it to use, which oh, I'm sure we will. Better not. I'm sure we will. I love jerky. Watch me still end up buying a bunch of bullshit jerky. No, not gonna allow it. <laughs> That'd be so stupid. All right, so here we are, same thing. Um, just curing it, seasoning it, and then we store it in the Ziploc bags, store it in the fridge, 24 hours, let it soak in, let it embed into the meat, and then we'll take you through the dehydration process on the 10 tray stainless steel cooker, or dehydrator. Two hours later, or no, how long has it been? Hour, hour and a half. All 10 pounds of sliced London broil, Allocated in each bag, original flavor. We got pepper, pepper garlic, mesquite, and hickory. We're gonna let these chill and marinate overnight. And then we'll put each flavor on a different racks and then label on a piece of paper to have like a little coating to know which flavor is which. And then we will have jerky here soon. So we will show you the aftermath and the process of dehydrating it next. What's the deal? Post-workout Slurpee, but light, sugar-free, low-calorie version. But the truth of the matter is that there's eight grams of carbs per eight ounces. So you get the largest one that's 48 ounces. You're getting still about 40 grams of carbs the regular Slurpees that are not the light versions are about 135 grams of sugar. That's pretty crazy. So we're getting these nightly because what's the deal? You have to get seven, seven for 11 free. You get seven Slurpees within a certain time period. You get 11 free. But I'm kind of already slurpied out. Kind of slurpied out. Maybe if they switch the flavors. Anyway, this is pineapple mango. It's delicious. Once again, guys, the sugar free crystal light Slurpees do have calories. So pre-contest, I would not have these because there's 40 grams of carbs. And we're gonna get something to eat post shoulders. It's a beautiful cob salad. Eggs, feta, not blue cheese. Avocado, extra chicken, more feta. Dry baked potato. And what, what is that, Rach? What is that thing? Black beans, egg whites, chicken breast, and salsa. Why is it so juicy looking? I don't know, from the chicken? Two kiddie pools of ranch. Alright. Alright guys, little Sunday afternoon meal. Let's just give you a little sample here. Picked some of this stuff up from Whole Foods. Believe it or not, this is actually a prepared ahead of time meal that's laid out in Sprouts Market. So it's almost like meal prep, but it's in sprouts and there's predetermined meals. This one is wild salmon with just vegetables, no carbs. We put a little light teriyaki glaze on top that it came with. So just protein and vegetables. I think that's only about four or five ounces. Then I complement it with a salad uh, from Whole Foods. And this is just your basic mix of different greens. And then I added some nitrate free chicken breast, obviously for the protein source to add to the salmon. And uh, as you can see here, love beets. So I have fresh beets and I really don't want to mess with them and cut them up myself, peel them. So I got these um, all ready to go from Whole Foods. A little bit more pricey, but they're ready to rock. So I diced those up in the salad and some feta cheese. I have some fat-free feta, which is just pure protein. A little high in sodium, but that's okay. And there's like a little meal of what I'm doing right now. Uh, just focusing on uh, medley of different vegetables beets, greens, uh, healthy fats there. No carbs, no real need for carbs right now until I train, so there's a nice little meal right there. Several hours later, over 24 hours later, we've been so busy we didn't wanna do it yesterday, so now we're gonna start early in the morning. We're gonna start laying out these pieces of meat, 
cutting them to make them fit on the rack. They've been in the uh, the cure for a long time now, so they're already somewhat cooked and dehydrated. And we're going to uh, isolate each flavor, so that's the original, per rack. And then we'll, I guess on a notepad, we can jot down racks one and two equals original, racks three and four yeah, equals yeah. blah, blah, blah. So here's the process. Got this guy set up here. It's pretty gigantic. And uh, it's preheating. And we will let you know how it turns out. We got our trip to Pittsburgh for Masters Nationals tomorrow. So, yeah, I could do a meal prep company, but I want something even faster. So, I'm just going to do ready to eat jerky with almonds, raw almonds, and maybe rice cakes. No microwave needed. There we go. All laid out here is 10 pounds of cut up uh, oh, top sure. round. Or London broil. Yeah, so then a little extra. So this is what you get, and we're going to maximize our 10 trays right now and put them in. Uh, here's meal number two, for example. Gigantic salad bowl. I actually used my Mega Fit Meals steak. Broke it up in the salad, ate the asparagus on its own, but just used the deliciously cooked steak from them. Should be about eight ounces, still red in it, so they cooked it perfect. Slivered almonds, raw almonds. Of course, the low fat feta cheese and uh, a green variety of different uh, greens. So that's a sample of just kind of the meals I'm eating throughout the day while I'm resting and not having a lot of activity levels. Once again, Mega Fit Meals, awesome, awesome tasting food. MPA 10 to get your meals for cheaper rate. All right, looks like we're done. How many hours has it been, Rach? What time is it right now, four? Yeah, it's, not, yeah, it's about four. Is the timer on here? It's been six hours. Yeah, six hours, 47 minutes. And it's- No, just six hours. Oh, just six hours. And it's done, it's beautiful. We uh, broke off some pieces and- uh, Yep, it's good. It looks amazing, tasted it, tastes amazing. Remember, we used the all dry marinade. We didn't use any any uh, soy sauce or any teriyaki, nothing like that, nothing wet. And now uh, we have some food for a couple days for Masters Nationals. Bring some tuna along too. Um, it's not too tough, right? It's, it's about medium. No, we can pull them all out now, though. Yep, pull them out, let them dry. And... So the thing's not bad. I'm happy with the purchase thus far. Hopefully, it's durable and lasts. And, We'll do more jerky concoctions and experiment with different times and drying it out more, making it moist, all that stuff. Smokey, you want some? Or you want the bag of food behind you? He wants jerky. He's looking right, right at you, Mom. Oh, look what I got in the mail. You guys want to see how pumped I am for this year's Olympia? I'll show you how pumped I am. <clears throat> September 2002. Your boy, Kevin Lebroni's on the cover. Awesome issue, I lost mine so I ordered it again. Back when Flex had 400 plus pages, it's huge, it's like an old MD. And it's still wrapped. All right guys, here we go. <clears throat> Jerky's all labeled. Original, mesquite, pepper. So anyway, we have uh, several bags here. This is for the Pittsburgh trip. And it's now 11.30 at night. Our plane departs at 6 a.m. That means we have to be at the airport at freaking 4 a.m. So we have like three hours of sleep if that. Just to let you know, I'm gonna eat this while I'm there. Fast, convenient, no heating up necessary. Turned out very nice, mind you. Other things, my dehydrated or drained uh, tuna. Nothing in it. Plain old zero fat, two grams of carbs. And I'm gonna be doing raw almonds. Variety of nuts, all raw. So I'll be munching on protein and raw nuts. Once again, just for the sake of convenience. I do have some rice cakes here, which I'm sure all my competitors will too, so that's not really a big issue. For post-workout, if I do get to train there, I'll have some rice cakes post-workout. Very simple, uh, nothing crazy. I would order my, um, my Mega Fit meals. 
but I don't have enough time and I procrastinated and I really just want to have everything on the go and not have to heat things up or refrigerate things uh, while I'm tending to other people, other athletes, because I want to prioritize them and not be, you know, a prima donna and worry about myself and heating up my meals. I want to have my meals basic, simplistic.